Hey guys, it's your favorite real estate agent, Walter Davis, here on Wednesdays with Walter. And today, I want to talk about, you know, we, we, we talk about a lot of different things in real estate. Um, and if you guys have been following me for a little while, you know, I spend a lot of time talking about credit, mortgages, you know, all those uh, more difficult things that, um, you know, I think are challenging or can be overwhelming to the first time home buyer um, in many cases. So today I want to have a little bit more fun and I want to talk about actually looking for a home. Like what are the important factors in buying a home and how do we find the dream home for you? You know, um, I've worked with a lot of clients over the years. As, as many of you know, I've been doing real estate, selling real estate and working in the industry since 2005. Um, for seven years I was a mortgage a counselor as well and so I understand enough mortgage to make me dangerous <laughs> but at the same time I definitely um, bring in professionals and to add as resources for my clients but this is what I want to say is is in, Mar in doing real estate since 2005 to 2021 not a lot has changed but at the same time there are so many things that have changed and really has made the process easier in some respects and more difficult to the average buyer in others. And let me um, explain that. In the early days of real estate, you know, most real estate agents would ask you kind of the basics. What is it that you're looking for? And you'd give them some standard line, oh, I need a three bedroom, two bath, I want a big kitchen and I want to live in um, Memorial, you know, or I want to live in Springbrook or I want to live in Winrose. You kind of give them basically the basics, okay? And then what that real estate agent would do is they look through, you know, the catalog. <laughs> they, they find which five or six or seven houses that they thought fit your needs and then you you they meet you you or you meet them at the office you get in their car and drive to whatever homes that they thought would fit your needs and then you would buy one okay and today and then I'm not saying that that was a bad way you know I'm not at all I'm not saying that that was a bad way I'm not saying that that's a difficult way I'm just saying that's the way it used to be in today's world Technology has completely enhanced both me as the real estate professional and you as the buyer or seller. It give, there's so much information that is out there that you can, you can, most people believe that they could buy a home and sell a home by themselves. I wouldn't agree with that and I'll tell you some points to that later. But they believe because of all this information that they could do the same job as a mortgage person, as a real estate person, as, as these other professionals that do it every single day, okay? And this is where it gets difficult, where it can be more difficult. Technology is so great that it gives you every single thing that you want. The problem is, if you type in three bedroom, two bath, in Houston, it'll probably give you 1,500 houses to look at. <laughs> and I don't know anybody that wants to look at 1,500 houses in Houston. That's why the first step or one of the first things that I like to talk about with my clients when they are in the position to start the search is what I like to call a needs analysis. Now, why is a needs analysis important to you? Well, it's important to you because only you know what you want in a home. And only, the only way that we as the professionals can assist you and maximize your time and effort is to find how to communicate what you want to us so that we can take it from 1,500 houses down to maybe 10 or 15, okay? So this is how, this is the project I would give you to do as you're starting to think of that process of buying a home. 
Remember, I said the most important aspect of this in the beginning is the needs analysis. We can call this generically a need and want list, okay? So what I always like to do is, is I tell my clients, let's make a T-chart. And for those of you that um, aren't familiar with a T-chart, that's if we took a piece of paper, okay, and we drew a line right down the middle. And then at the top, we drew a line across the top. Basically, it looks like a um, lowercase t to a certain extent. And on one side, it's going to create a column. And on that column, we're going to put need right at the top. And on the second column, we're going to put want. Okay. Now, what's most important about this need and want list is that everyone is true and honest, especially if you're out there getting a home with your husband or wife or partner, you know, if it's more than one person making a decision, I always love to have the kids do it too. If you have a family, you know, what are their needs and wants, okay? And everybody can fill one of these out, okay? So I usually have my, my um, buyers fill out this need and want list, and I tell them just like this. I say, all right, Mr. Buyer, I want you to go into your own room, and I want you to fill out one. And then Mrs. Buyer, I want you to go in your own room and fill out one. This is a, this vital because what I've seen over the years, many partners will many times defer to the other. And at the end of the day, you got to remember that both of you are coming home to this house every day for the next seven, eight, nine, ten years. So you want, there's got to be things in there that, that you love on both sides. Okay, so once everybody goes to their own rooms and starts to fill out this needs analysis sheet, I want you to um, fill out the need side. And let's describe what a need is. What a need is, in simple terms, is it's a deal breaker. So let's say, hypothetically, that you hated carpet and you came to me and said, Walter, I don't want one speck of carpet in this house. And I would ask you, of course, I'd say, well, is that a need or is that a want? And basically what I'm asking you is, is that a deal breaker? If, if, if the, uh, the house has every single thing that you want, but two rooms are carpeted, would that stop you from buying the home? And if the answer was yes, then you'd put that on the need side. If the answer was no, if everything else was perfect, I could always replace the carpets with laminate or wood later, then you'd put that on the want side. And you do this as you kind of go through your process of thinking about how you're going to use the home. Will family be visiting? Do, are you the entertainer? You know, do you have a dog or do you want a dog? All those different things that every single family has that makes their family unique. You're going to go through all of those uh, different aspects and, and fill out this need and want list separately. Once you've filled out this need and want list separately, you're going to come back together as a family and you're going to fill out, you're going to basically make a master need and want list where it runs down all the stuff we got to have in the house and all the stuff we would like in the house. Now, I'm the first one to tell you that nobody's home is perfect um, until you get to the point where you are building a custom home um, that basically you've designed with an architect and, and a carpenter and literally you're putting it exactly the way you want to. No home's gonna have, in a general sense, every single thing that you wish that home would have, okay? But if that home has everything that you need to have, every single thing that's a deal breaker, if it had all of those things and it was in a great neighborhood and it was close to schools and it was close to shopping and it was in the perfect location so that you can get back and forth to work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, then that's a win. Now, my team's goal, what we're going to do is, is we're going to pick out houses that have all the needs of your family. 
And then the goal is to sprinkle in some of the wants. So not only do you get all your needs, but we do get some of the wants for those homes that fit, okay? And, and we're going to, instead of having you look through 1,500 houses, we're going to look through the 1,500 houses and bring those down to maybe the top 20, top 25. And at that point, I'm going to look at them again a second time, looking through the pictures, looking through the neighborhoods, looking for all those things that we've communicated about in our consultation. And then I'm going to bring that down to possibly 10 or 15. At that point in time, I'm going to send you those 10 or 15 houses. Now, why do I bring it down to 10 or 15 houses? In my opinion, if I send you 10 to 15 great houses that fit all your needs, the opportunity for you to be able to walk in that house and say, this is great. This fits what we want. This fits what we need. Let's put an offer on it. It increases those odds exponentially. And you'd like to, most people would like to know, well, why is that important? Well, right now we're in what we call a seller's market, a strong seller's market. And what that means to you as a buyer is there are more buyers in the market than there are homes. So many people say, well, hey, I want to go home and sleep on it. And this is what I generally say to my clients is, you have to remember that, yes, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, we have looked at this home. It fits all the things that's on your need and want list. And I can understand how you'd want to go home and sleep on it. You don't want to make a rush decision. But I do want to let you know the importance of urgency in this home. Because if this fits all your needs and you can see yourself living here, someone else just saw it yesterday or the day before and they went home and slept on it and said they were going to think about it the next day or two as well. So by the time you wake up tomorrow to decide to buy this house, it might already be sold from the person that saw it two days ago that slept on it two days ago. So if this home fits, let's put in an offer and see if we can work out something that's a win-win across the board. That's vital, especially in this type of market. Now let me, let me tell you something a little bit more to kind of show you the type of urgency that I'm talking about. I took a seller's home, uh, one of my clients, and we put it on the market and we priced it at market value, okay? Within three days, three days, the home had 15, 15 appointments. And in, on that third day, I've received five contracts, five in three days, okay? In the day that, that my client was thinking about that, I actually received 10 more contracts. Okay, so I want, to, I want to show you the gravity of what I mean by urgency, right? Is that home eventually sold with 15 contracts at $11,000 higher than the asking price, than the price that we listed at. That's how many buyers are out there looking for a home. And when they find a home that they want, they're going to compete for it. And as, and as your professional representative, it's my job to get you in the homes as soon as they pop up and try and get those offers, a strong offer, in the, the seller's hand from you. That, that, that they can consider in the quickest amount of time. Because if that home fits, we want to take it. And we want to make sure it's for you and your family. So I talked a lot about the needs analysis or need and want list. I talked a little bit about picking out homes. 
and, and how we go through that process of selecting or helping you select homes and showing you homes. But there's one last thing that I always urge my clients to do, and that's visit neighborhoods. Because there's so many different neighborhoods in, this, in, this, in Houston. You know, this, we're one of the biggest, fastest growing metropolitans in all of the United States. I believe I just read an article that said we were in the top five most um, moved in or most valuable city in, in the United States, um, which is great. Okay, it makes sense. We're growing. A lot of companies are coming here. But this is what I say for you as the home buyer out there, first time home buyer out there, or second time, is drive through these different neighborhoods because the better idea you have of where you want to be, the easier it is to bring 1500 down to 10 or 20. And that makes sure that we get into the geographic area that's most important to you location-wise. So hopefully that gave you some insight, gave you a little bit of insight on, you know, going out and picking a home. You know, the, I think finding a home is one of the most fun times of the process uh, because you actually get into homes. And believe me when I say this, and I'm, I'm going to leave this last point for you, is it's not like you see on HGTV. Okay, we do make it fun and enjoyable, but, you know, our goal is to get the right home, you at the right price, in the right neighborhood for you and your family. So if you have any questions or you want to just find out kind of the steps or what, what, what do you need to do in order to buy your new home or get yourself going in that direction, don't hesitate to um, give us a call. You can always reach me at 832-257-9083. Of course, again, my name is Walter Davis, and I would love to help you and your family find your dream home and bring you home to your house. So, as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Wednesday with Walter. You guys have a great day and a great week. Bye-bye now.